But anyway, um, speaking of your excitement, I wanted to ask you how you feel about your boy Orange Cassidy. <laughs> so, okay, Chetty, I got yeah. Oh, thank you for the kiss. Oh. Yes, I love the emotional support. Oh, so sweet. Down, down. Get down. <laughs> yep, back up. Thank you. So, um, <laughs> I think when he won, I messaged you, yes, queen. <laughs> I immediately thought of you. I, I said to Brian, I go, oh, Sabrina's losing her shit right now, I bet. Yes. Like, I... He had to win that, right? Like, there was... Unless Tony Khan wanted, like, shit mailed to his doorstep. Um, he, <laughs> Flaming. <laughs> flaming, yeah. Um, Had to. Absolutely had to. And then... All the pictures that came out afterward, like Chris Statlander hobbling into the ring with, with the backpack for him because he doesn't like to carry things. Oh, uh, I also, I think one of my favorite parts was um when uh, Chuck Taylor got into the ring, like him just looking at OC and uh, he was just so happy and so proud for him. I was like, this, this is a, that's friendship goals right there. Friendship goals. He like dove into that ring. Like it was so sweet. Yeah. And I was just like because they like they're roommates. They really are like the best of friends. Mm-hmm. I um my overall feeling was just finally. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's been in like the main title pitcher, tag title pitcher, trios title pitcher, like probably the the tnt title i can't i mean he had to have been he had to have had matches with either like miro or darby or cody or any of them like he's one of you know you talk about the pillars the pillars the pillars like he's one of the foundations of that company he has been massively over since before Mm -hmm. he even stepped foot in that ring like you saw his first match with speaking of him and Pac need to fight every day, every hour of the rest of my life, because those two have phenomenal chemistry together in the ring. Like they just, God, they always put on such good matches together. Their styles are so different, but they just work together. They're like one of the best pairings in wrestling right now. I think like they, they're fantastic, but Think back to that first match where, like, that crowd was on fire for him. That he's gonna try, and the oh, oh, like, Mm -hmm. went so over. And for it to have taken this long for him to finally get a belt is like bordering on criminal. (laughs) Yes, yeah. Um, so I have a couple of different things that spring off of that. Um, the first one will be, um, he did. So I follow him on Twitch and he had taken like a month long break. Basically, he hasn't streamed really since everything happened with the Young Bucks. I'm not mistaken. Like he and I can't blame him. Like he definitely knew it was going to be bombarded with questions. Um, God bless him. He isn't really tech savvy. So I don't think he's probably great at modding his chat like some of the other wrestlers. I mean, his I think it's his brother that helps him out, maybe. Do you only have one mod, just his brother? I think it's not yeah. a huge. Well, I haven't. It might. It's probably larger now, but like, there were only like usually there's only about three hundred people. Only, um, about three hundred people in his chats. That's still pretty good because there's. I mean, there's streamers I watch that are not wrestlers. Like they're just streamers that do it full time. Like they have quit their jobs and do it full time. That maybe only have like a hundred and fifty to like two hundred and some people in their chat. Oh, okay. So like three hundred is not a bad number. Uh, I mean, I obviously watch other streamers too that have like one point some. Like some people have like thousands, and I think it's like just like Graham Pooh Bear that's friends with Adam Cole and Barb are usually in this one other one Aura have like over a thousand regularly, but most other people only a few hundred. Oh, so. Okay. Him to be that new and have 300, that's not bad. Like, yeah. Well, um, so he came back and (laughs) 
so he opened the stream with him watching like he, he he'll play um youtube videos like that's his thing right now and it was the from the late 80s early 90s aerobics championships and they were playing like some champion song like doing a little dance and because he just won the championship and he had his belt and he was holding it up doing like a little dance with it <laughs> at first oh i pulled out my phone to try and record it and he put it down right as i hit record and i was like no <laughs> no you sent me that and i was like what the hell is he watching <laughs> like mm-hmm. he yeah. basically like took like adam pacini's stick and like made it his own but the american version of it <laughs> yeah basically um so there was that but then the other thing that i wanted to mention uh which is fun uh in my youtube recommendations uh because i watch a surprise i will watch a lot of wrestling interviews oh <laughs> a lot and um from san diego comic-con like right now is when a bunch of stuff is coming up probably because of new york comic-con i'm guessing um and youtube definitely knows that i've gone before but anyway it's been suggesting a lot of um people that were there um and orange cassidy and Britt baker were sat together so i've seen like some different interviews that have both of them in it before punk was also there punk and jade card hill were at another um table uh when they were doing the interviews i think they were all part of a panel but um what was interesting was uh Britt baker was asked a question about like the trainers backstage and like you know what they were doing and she like says how great everyone is da, 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 um and name drops a bunch of folks and um especially like names who had been working with the women i didn't pay so much attention i probably should have but anyway um orange cassie at one point like pops into that chat and says like for him like those people are great but he couldn't really go to any of them because they no one had like wrestled like him so they didn't have any insight and he said the only person that he could go to and did go to was colt cabana and he really helped him a lot and then he kind of ended it with like but i can't do that now Aww. and i was just like <laughs> i love him so much for name dropping colt cabana in the same room with cm punk at the next table doing an interview feel like a lot of the younger indie guys are probably on team colt box and kenny how old do you think orange cassidy is like 30s 38 yeah yeah i was like when you said younger i'm like do you think he's in his 20s no i mean like not like samoa joe and danielson and yeah. punk and you know like not the 40s the ones that were kind of the previous generation like the i consider like the younger guys like the ones that are in their 20s and 30s fair enough yeah I um, feel like most of them are probably more team Colt, Young Bucks, and Kenny. I mean, I also wouldn't be surprised to find out that, like, um, Brian is more Colt, team Colt. Yeah, I mean, that might be difficult for him because I, he's friends, he's probably friends with all of them. Like, he came up with Punk and Joe and all of the, like, and he, he also came up with Cabana. Yep. I mean, he, he he seems like the type to me that would be, like, neutral. Like, just still kind of friendly with everyone. So, from what I've heard about Daniel Bryan backstage, if he, if he takes a moral high ground, which this is the kind of situation that one could easily do that in, ooh, he, they, like, people say that he will, like, cut you really yeah that um he can be a real big asshole like if it's something that's under like his skin or like something that annoys him but in general is a great guy 
Just yeah, I mean, he does strike me as just like your typical chill hippie. Like, you know what I mean? Like the that occasionally kills people in the ring. That must be how he gets his aggression out. And then in real life, like has a garden. You know, like mm-hmm. yeah, he definitely has a garden. Yep. I've seen videos of him with his well, at the time uh buddy wasn't um alive yet uh he has not been born uh but him and birdie like attending to the garden and harvesting vegetables that's cute yeah 